We're clear, actual. Go ahead with the manifest. Bishop cross-referenced the call tag with our own records. They have a Marine from the ship supplying them with information. Whether under duress or otherwise, is unknown. From our ship? They kidnapped a Marine off the Sephora, sir? Wrong ship. He's from the Sulaco. I don't understand, actual. All Marines on the Sulaco were KIA. Negative winner. One is alive, and they're moving him soon. We don't leave Marines behind. Mission to follow. Actual out. Hello everyone. So he just found a crazy ass second suicide. Shadefire here us? and welcome what, to episode 7 of enough. Let's Play Aliens Colonial you Marines. Volunteer. You know we don't leave Marines behind. Yeah, I didn't sign up to die for somebody else. No, dick face, you signed up to die for other Marines. Whatever happens to me, promise you'll try and evac the captured Marine. Promise. Promise. All right, so we're supposed to be, uh, you know, rescuing Bella from her imminent death through chest explosion. We're clear, actual. Go ahead with the manifest. Bishop Cross referenced the call tag with our own records. They have a Marine from the ship supplying them with information. Hello, everyone. Under duress Shadefire or here. And welcome to episode 7 of Let's Play Aliens they Colonial the Marine Marines. Off the sir? Wrong ship. He's from the Sulaco. I don't understand, actually. All Marines on the Sulaco were KIA. Negative winner. One is alive, and they're moving him soon. We don't leave Marines behind. Mission to follow. Actual out. Actually, there was so one Marine who survived from the Sulaco. second suicide mission for us? What, the first wasn't suicide enough? We volunteered. You know we don't leave Marines behind. Yeah, but I didn't sign up to die for somebody else. No, dick face. You signed up to die for other Marines. Whatever happens to me, promise you'll try and evac the captured Marine. No. Promise. Promise. So, we're still trying to help Bella with her whole imminent chest explosion condition. Here at the uh, Wayland facility. Also, two things that have changed since last episode. One, I installed a little fan patch called uh, Aliens DirectX 10 version 2, which, as you can probably assume, causes the game to use some of DirectX 10's features, which are not natively supported at all because, you know, this game is ancient, even though it was just released. The second is that I found out that we've actually had all of those guns I was talking about all along, and uh, there's a separate inventory you have to pull up here to switch them out. Which seems really dumb to me. So basically, yeah, all of these other guns, like the assault rifle and the battle rifle and all that, we've had them this whole time. So let's uh, switch up our loadout. Something different here. There's the Sharp Rifle, the uh, pre-order bonus for this game. Kind of curious what that does. So let's try it out. And with that, I guess uh, we don't have to worry about weapon of variety for the rest of this. I'd like to point out that not once did the game ever mention that there is a weapon inventory like that. Alright. This used to be a way of what happened there. Take it slow anyway, guys. We do have an actual accurate weapon here for once. Maybe not the best spot for it. that for the other assault rifle. Which is burst fire. Great. My favorite type of weapon. And no legendary weapon in this level. As you can probably see there, the secondary on this gun is the flamethrower.
gotta be an exit somewhere up there. I'm not actually sure what this sharp Christ. stick thing shoots. It's a really slow timed explosive, it looks like. Everyone hug the left wall. On me, on me. Stay out of the lights. It's all right, we're clear. I guess Crouch we got out of the range. Take you super slow. Follow me. This thing just like project a death field when it hits something. <laughs> it seems to be both simultaneously overpowered and not. We're gonna very have to useful. go up and around on the wall there. God damn. This is gonna be close. They sealed the cavern up. They're not stupid. No Xeno could get through that. I think you're missing the part where they have acid for blood. It'll be like Alien Resurrection where they just kill one of their own to melt through. Another down! I guess they're not, uh, time, but I think they're just proximity. Well, maybe not. Hard to tell. Seven hundreds of an APC. I, I don't hear anything, guys. There's no way we're gonna take down two APCs between the three of us. Looks like they're guarding the breach in the wall. Safety's on. I'm going in first. Keep moving. Just walk right past these guys. Gonna ignore us. Hey, how you feeling, Bell? Not good. We're gonna get that thing out of here. Stop saying that. Why? Why? Because you don't know what this feels like. Shut up and keep your eyes up. Ah, neck is just like snapping left and right. I don't think I'm gonna be too torn up if Bella dies. One in the chamber, and that's it. Do you remember our agreement? I do. Suddenly got blinded. Mongo in here. actual. This is what? two one with an update. Do you read? What just oh, happened? Know, Jesus, where have you guys been? What happened with Bella? That's a negative actual. We did, did not the meet our mission for skip or something? The subject... The subject didn't make it. Requesting hostage extraction parameters. Over. Are you sure you... Just give us the damn orders, sir. Understood, 2-1. The captured Marine is being moved to a Way UAPC in the interior of the compound. You'll need to temporarily disable the power module to create a distraction. Don't get killed doing this. No promises. 2-1 out. My promise was to Bella. Well, I guess we missed that dramatic death scene. Let's see if I can fix that. You 
make a fucking sound, and your brains are what they find in the garbage tomorrow. Not if you understand, asshole. Bell, lie down on the table. She had a... She had one of those face huggers. It left a baby one in her chest. How, how do you get it out? You... You, you, you can't. Wrong answer. Please, 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 please. Trust me. We've tried to extract the gestated life form. O'Neill, just let him speak. It's okay. The, the embryo will extract fluid and nutrients from the host to construct the placenta, but it, it, it's not like a human's. The placenta is like a weed rooting itself into every organ in the chest cavity. Look, even if you could surgically remove the embryo, the placenta is its like a cancer. Your organs will begin shutting down one by one, and then you just, you just die. Winner, knock him out. Oh, now. I can't. Is it hot in here? Hey. Hey, Mel. Hey, Nugget. It's okay. Just close your eyes. You get that, Maureen? You promised. Get everyone off the planet. Hoorah to ashes, Mel. Hoorah to... Our agreement. No, I, uh, I guess not. Maybe I'll just replay through quickly and edit that in. Wait, you guys. Can't just rush in anymore. Alright, we're in. These are scientists, not soldiers. They pull on us, put them down. I was gonna shoot him anyway, but you put it like that. Get yeah, over there, buddy. Go! Go! This doesn't seem very contained. corner and murdered my face. Alright, just slowly peek around the corner. The hell is that? Flamethrower ammo for our other gun? I thought I heard somebody in here. Might have just been uh, O'Neill here. Autopsy report for Dr. David Hale. Take him down Eight quick, patients. be quiet. We don't want any of them reaching the alarm. Dr. Hale was implanted by the parasitoid xenomorph form a day ago following a containment breach. After the parasitoids expected death, I 
against the recommendations of my colleagues, attempted to extract the fetal xenomorph. My attempt... My uh, attempt failed due to the cancerous nature of the xenomorph's placenta. It appears physically impossible to remove an incubated xenomorph without killing the host. He did not die quietly. This is Dr. Stephen Hale signing out. Well, that would have been helpful to know before we wasted time coming here. Though, of course, you and me probably already knew this. Do most scientists work with a gun in their hand, you think? Shit! Sound the alarm! He's headed to the alarm! Stop it! Ah! Alarm that. I think I like the basic pulse rifle better than Hudson's pulse rifle. Where the fuck did this guy go? go, go. And where's O'Neill? He must be ahead of me. Must have teleported to the objective like he usually does. And there. What is this? Some sort of, uh, I guess, incinerator to dispose of the unwanted specimens before they hatch. The lighting certainly looks better with the DirectX 10 patch. Looks a bit more ambient. I'd like to point out too that, yeah, that patch that I'm talking about is not officially made by Gearbox or anything. This is a fan-made patch that came out a couple days after release. Kind of reminds me of uh, Dark Souls and how they had a resolution fix released by a fan like the day of. Of course, they openly admitted that they didn't know what they were doing making uh Actually, are you picking up any of this? This isn't crossing the line. This is reinventing it. They weren't uh, familiar with PC development, so, you know, they don't have the same excuse Gearbox doesn't. Are these the... Uh... <laughs> These look like the xenomorph crossbreeds from uh, Alien Resurrection. Half human, half xenomorph. Take them down quick and quiet. We don't want any of them reaching the alarm. Is this like the one spot where a silencer would come in handy? Well, at least they don't force you to, uh, you know, be snealth stealthy. Stealthy. They don't force you to sneak or anything. There's no game over, you got seen. Because my tolerance for that kind of shit in this game is absolutely nil. What you doing in there, buddy? Ugh. 
Look at all this shit back here. Past that APC pretty easily. Really, the guns on both sides. APC killed me. Well, it seems this battle rifle is way more effective against the guys than it is against the Xenomorphs. Fucking Christ. That APC turret is so much more effective than the turrets we saw before. Alright, he just decided to sprint through. Because he doesn't have to worry about getting shot. Away, but the sound of it is still coming from the same spot. Fire. I forgot I changed the secondary fire on this to a shotgun. Guys under the floor, I can't do anything about that. You should be very dead now. There's no way around! We gotta push it back somehow! Winner! See that crane? If we can drive that back under that payload, we can drop it on that sucker and crush it! Good idea! Great job! Get to those controls and let's finish this!
Apparently he sniped me behind the box. These human enemies sure make the game more fun. Alright, I think I've now killed... Oh, no, we're not. Could have sworn that guy was not there a second ago, but I think I've killed everyone else. Which I guess I would have had to do to survive this part right here. No, no. Cancel. Oh, God damn it. There's no way to exit out of this. That's good programming right there. Okay, we're almost out of ammo for this, so I guess we'll go with... Uh, weapon wheel, spin, what will you give me? Uh, I guess we'll just go with the pulse rifle. Got plenty of ammo for it. Where is this power module? I've already forgotten what we need this for. Because <laughs> that was a rather frustrating section back there in which I died multiple times. This is Foreman Morris. Submitting formal requisition for uh, you know what? Hell with it. I don't know how many times I gotta tell you bureaucratic windbags, but this entire facility is hanging on by a thin goddamn thread. The only thing standing between us and those things is a couple thousand volts running through a perimeter fence. But we don't even have a backup generator. That fence goes down, this entire place is gone in a matter of minutes. You understand? I need permission to build at least three more perimeter fences, as well as the juice to keep them all running. Otherwise, you ain't getting much info out of your beloved origin before we get burned into walking goddamn bug rooms! So they're literally keeping them out with small electrical fences, that, like we saw. Because they can't just fucking jump over those, or, you know, dig under them, or whatever. But I guess this is gearboxes, xenomorphs we're dealing with, not, you know, Ridley Scott's. They're dumb as a sack of bricks. Backups are no go, got it. I'm pretty sure if we crack the regulator caps of all the cells and power it down, the backup module will cycle and attempt to juice these cells. Which will blow the whole system. No power to any of the security measures. Right. It'll fry everything. You take the bottom ones, not get the ones up here. Well, there's certainly the uh, derelict from Alien, the original Alien. And I guess that explains where Yutani's been getting their uh, xenomorph eggs without a queen. They're just taking them out of the cargo bay there. And I really hope it's not called Origin now because of fucking Prometheus, but I have a feeling it is. I don't
Open the door, jackass. Are really gonna make us walk to each of these and fight one guy at a time? I'm not sure we can handle this kind of stress. Except for the fact that this fucking door is locked. I see another door on the other side. Nope, that one's also locked. Well, how do I get in there then? And where's the fourth power cell? I'm hoping one of them will get close enough to the door that it will just open. Jump in from a bow? Yes, I can. That's an oversight on their part. There's another guy in here. Okay, let's do this! Walk up here, pull the lever. Xenos will overrun that fence in minutes. You sure you want to do that to all those people out there? They won't have a chance. Well, we're just going to shoot them anyway. Of that before their actions led to the death of 300 Marines. Do it. Well, apparently we turned off my eyes too because I couldn't turn on my flashlight. Alright, well that'll do it for episode 7 of Let's Play Aliens Colonial Marines. Getting pretty close to the end now. I don't see if this is going to get any better, but I'm sure it's going to get worse. See y'all next time. So as it turns out, there's actually a pair of easter eggs in this uh, level. One of them is right here, down by this arch looking thing. And we're breaking into the facility before Bella's died. For some reason there is a, uh, you barely see it, but there's a donut box over there. And if you, uh, shoot it... Just wait for it. This happens. Oh, shit. <laughs> Slipped off the edge. But yeah, there's just a giant donut in this game for some reason. No explanation. And then the other easter egg takes place after the broken Bella death cutscene. Uh, the part where you have to stop two scientists from pressing an alarm. See this room with these uh, chest bursters. And then once you kill the guys you can go back through here and this door will be open. Run over here to grab this armor. And right beside that is this little uh, containment tube with a little hat and a little cane in it. Which you might recognize if you've ever seen the uh, movie Spaceballs. The specifically the alien uh, parody scene, and I believe if you activate this with E, it doesn't actually show up that you can activate it, and then walk back here to these chest bursters, you can see that they all have hats and canes. So that's a neat little lace Easter egg. Kind of weird to reference a reference of the original alien in this, but yeah. That's the other easter egg for level 7. Never did get that Bella cutscene to work. I think it's just broken.